Broadcasting from the belly of the UFP Devilfish, this is a Hailing Frequency Special Transmission, dated January 5th, 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chessmas, and welcome to the Star Trek People's Choice Awards, brought to you by Star Trek Games at StarTrek-Games.com, the place for all your Star Trek gaming needs. Tonight's coverage comes to you via hailing frequency, the internet's first podcast dedicated to the world of Star Trek gaming. And now, over to your hosts, Zach and Kaneas. Take it away, guys. Thank you, Chessmas, and to the whole community out there, may I say welcome. Right now, I'm standing backstage at the 2007 People's Choice Awards, next to some rather mean-looking fellas who are guarding the results for tonight's awards. For the first time ever in the world of Star Trek games, we present the premiere awards honouring the people and the games in our community. There is no higher honour than to be recognised by your fellow Star Trek gamers. And that was a statement posted on the front page of the Star Trek Games website by its creator, Chess Mess. Now, standing down on the red carpet in the landing bay, we have Kaneas, K1 Indra, Mr. Giuliano, and David, who are all hoping to catch an interview with some of tonight's nominees. Landing bay, come in please. Hello, Hello Zach. Zach, happy new happy year. Happy new year. Thank you. How would you describe the atmosphere down there? The atmosphere down here is electric, Zach. There are crowds of people lined up and waiting to hear the results of the awards. I've never been drunk at an awards show before. Without doubt, there is very much a degree of excitement tonight. It is quite captivating. Well, I think we already know who is going to win, so this is all very boring. Well, it certainly sounds wild down there. Would you mind telling the folks what tonight's categories are? Of course, Zach. Some of tonight's categories are Best New Mod of 2007, Top News Story of 2007, and Best Star Trek Game Screenshot. And those are just to name a few. We also have categories for Most Feared Online Player, Best Star Trek Game Wallpaper, and Top Star Trek Clan. And let's not forget the biggest categories of the night. For Best Star Trek Game of All Time, Top Star Trek Ship Model, and Best Fan Created Game. Okay, well it looks like all of tonight's nominees are here. Yep, that, that's right, Zach. That's the last of them. Everyone's inside. Okay, you four. Come on in and let's get the ceremony started. Starbase 12 requesting speed up of all files. Super tracking element damage. Reporting near stop immediately. This is the US Media Development requesting permission to depart. Welcome to the first annual Star Trek People's Choice Awards. And just before we begin tonight, I want to say on behalf of the entire community, you are all winners in our eyes. Even those of you who do not take home an award tonight, you all create your content with the hope of bettering the community and taking us one step closer to fulfilling the dreams of the man who started it all, Gene Roddenberry. I couldn't have said it better, Zach. You're all winners, and you're all great. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Absolutely. David, would you like to start with tonight's first two categories, which are both mod-related? David? Giuliano, where's David? Let me check backstage. (laughs) Sorry, Zach. Tonight's first category is for the best new mod of 2007. This category allowed for the nomination of any mod, big or small, that has become available for download between January 1st and December 30th, 2007. Nominees for this category are Kobayashi Maru 1.0 for Star Trek Bridge Commander, Trek Battles for Star Trek Legacy, Ultimate Universe for Star Trek Legacy, and the winner is Kobayashi Maru 1.0 for Star Trek Bridge Commander. Outstanding. Congratulations. 
Moving on, our next category tonight is for the Mod Excellence Award. This category is very similar to the previous one and was for any mod, big or small, released before January 1, 2007. Nominees for this category are RPGX for Star Trek Elite Force, Fleet Operations for Star Trek Armada 2, and the winner is Fleet Operations for Star Trek Armada 2. That was a tough one. It could have gone either way. Both are really great mods. You're absolutely right, Ken. Case 1 Indra, would you like to announce the next couple of categories and their winners? I would neither like nor dislike that, Zack. However, it would be logical to go ahead and to do so. Psh, Vulcans. Our next category tonight is for the most anticipated unreleased Star Trek game. Whether it is retail game, mod, or fan game. The nominees are... Birth of the Empires, German, fan-based game. Star Trek Supremacy, fan-based game. Enterprise, Temporal Cold War, Half-Life 2 Modification. Star Trek Online, Retail Game. And the winner is Enterprise, Temporal Cold War. What? Recount! I demand a recount. Star Trek Online cannot lose. It is the best. Recount. The polls have been fixed. Fraud. Fraud. I'd prefer not to use this. Don't phase me, bro. Then snap out of it. Fascists. Go ahead, K Swan. Of course. Now we have the top news story of 2007 category. Nominations are Perpetual Suit for Fraud. Conky vs. Perpetual, and Decipher Ends Collectible Card Game. And the winner is Perpetual Suit for Fraud. It's funny that a lie won as a news story. Really funny. Can we laugh? Ha! 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 Time warp out of that one. My pimp hand is strong. Moving on. And our next category is for the best Star Trek fan created game. This can be any fan created game as long as it is released and available for download. The nominations are Flash Trek, Broken Mirror, Enterprise The Game. And the winner is Enterprise The Game. That was a really close one for me. Both of those are great games. Yeah, Zach, they sure are. Next, we have the category for the top Star Trek role-playing group. The nominations for this category are... Starbase 118 and USS Phantom. And the winner is... Starbase 118. Congratulations. I don't personally know either of the groups in that category, but I'm sure it was a well-deserved victory. Before we move on to the next category, we're just going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back. Captain, incoming message from the Ares fleet. The Ares fleet? Yes, sir. Put it on screen. On screen. Hello there, Captain. We are sending on emergency power, so our signal is not that strong. Shall I reroute more power to the communication and try to compensate the flux capacitor to boost up the signal, sir? Uh, yeah. Hello, Ares fleet. We are having trouble receiving your transmission. Can you repeat the message? Yes, sir. I am contacting you to tell you about the Dutch community for Star Trek Online. This community has several goals. First of all, they are translating all available information about Star Trek Online in their native language. Trying to give all the members as much information as needed. And second of all, they are building their own fleet, the Ares fleet. Making themselves ready for the release of MMO Star Trek Online. You can reach us at www.st-online.nl Star Trek Enterprise Temporal Cold War, a Half-Life 2 total conversion. 
one ship and her crew. Full impulse. Take us out. The depths of the expanse and the enemies that you will face. Plot course to intercept. Prepare to engage. Prepare for the Enterprise experience you have always craved. Ready weapons. Target phase cannons. Prepare to launch photonic torpedoes. I need those systems back online. Drip, I'll need all the power you can give us. Initiate warp now. Star Trek Enterprise. Temporal Cold War. Welcome back to the first annual People's Choice Awards, brought to you by Star Trek Games and covered by Hailing Frequency. We've certainly had some interesting victories in the first half of the ceremony. Wouldn't you agree, Kinesis? Yeah, Zach, there have been some victories that I just did not expect, and some defeats that really raise questions about what it is people out there want. If I was a game developer listening to this right now, I would certainly have raised eyebrows. I couldn't agree with you more, Ken. Giuliano, would you like to bring us the next few categories? Hey! Here's Giuliano! Sure, Zach. The next category in today's lineup is for the top Star Trek clan. Just to clarify, a clan is a group of people who band together under one tag to play computer games together. Kind of like guilds in Star Trek Online. Nominations for this category are United Federation Defense Force, Team Elite Force, Rogue Force, SFI Clan, and the winner is... United Federation Defense Force! <laughs> Moving on. Our next category today is possibly one of the biggest. Best Star Trek game ever. This category encompasses all platforms and genres, as long as it's Star Trek and a game. Nominations for this category are Star Trek Armada, Star Trek Birth of the Federation, Star Trek Bridge Commander, Star Trek 25th Anniversary, Star Trek Legacy, Star Trek Elite Force, Starfleet Command 2 Orion Pirates. And of course, Star Trek Online. And the winner hey, is... wait a second. Star Trek Online hasn't been released yet, Giuliano. Huh? Star Trek Online is not a release game. And by the way, I don't even think it's on the list of potential winners. It isn't. He wrote it on there with a crayon. Can we get back to the winner, please? Oh. Right. Well. And the winner is... Star Trek Bridge Commander! I think that's the toughest category we've had so far. A lot of those games were really good. Yeah, I almost wish we could have voted more than once for that category. Moving on, and our next category today is for Top Star Trek Ship Model. Both official models and community-made models are acceptable in this category. However, it has to have an image in the Star Trek Games Gallery. Nominations for this category are... Seraquil Class from Star Trek Legacy Trek Battles 2 The Constitution Refit by Moonraker And the Borg Cube by Moonraker And the winner is... Constitution Refit by Moonraker The next category in the lineup unfortunately did not receive any nominations, and that is the Best Star Trek Character Model category. So we are now moving on to the Top Star Trek Game Server Host category. To be nominated for this category you must have had a dedicated server online for at least three months. Nominations for this category are SFI Clan Servers and The Beer Gardens. And the winner is... The Beer Gardens. Personally, I think everyone is a winner in that category. Anyone who takes the time and money to host a dedicated server, that's awesome. Agreed. Well, we only have a couple of categories left now. 
And I think these ones really appreciate people's artistic creativity. Case one, the first one is yours. Thank you, Zach. This category is for the best Star Trek gaming wallpaper, and nominations are ETCW Mod Wallpaper by John Bart and Returning Home by Jay Vanini. And the winner is ETCW Mod Wallpaper. They were both great wallpapers, but personally, I'm a big fan of Enterprise and Temporal Cold War. So, it was really a no-brainer for me. And on to our last category now, Top Star Trek Gaming Mat. This category was open to any game, however only two nominations were made. Both for Star Trek Legacy. And those nominations are... Terrocan for Star Trek Legacy. Deep Space for Star Trek Legacy. And the final winner of the Star Trek People's Choice Awards 2007 is... Deep Space for Star Trek Legacy. And there you have it folks, those are the People's Choices for the 2007 Awards. And I have to say, there have been some truly surprising choices there. Yeah. Star Trek Online hasn't even been released yet. How is it supposed to win awards? Well, where I live in the 26th century, it has been released and should be given awards. Prehumously. That's not a word. Yes, it is. In the 26th century. This isn't the 26th century yet. We have to give out awards for games that have actually been released. Yeah, exactly. Okay, folks. Those were your People's Choice Awards for 2007. Brought to you by Star Trek Games and covered by Hailing Frequency. The internet's first podcast dedicated to Star Trek gaming. Yeah. Damn right. Woohoo, I'm drunk. Hailing Frequency will return to its normal programming from next week. Until then, stay safe and goodbye. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Internet's hottest podcast dedicated to all you Trek gamers.